Hi guys and welcome to another video by myself, Baton87. Apologies for not bringing this earlier guys, but as you will know if you're watching YouTube on Friday night, I was partaking in the Cybermen FC game uh, for charity as well. If you guys do want to go and check out the uh, channel, the Cybermen channel, you can go donate to charity if you want to do that as well. So, the tournament which got released on Friday at 6pm guys was an unlockable kit. Yes, I love my kits, I love my players, but I knew that, well I didn't know that, I presumed that a kit was coming because of a leaked email which was sent out just before team of the season to some people. So if you guys do want MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, go and check out G2 Come there, link is down below. If you're trying to hit over 5,000 likes, I'd be absolutely brilliant. And guys, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And uh, MSP PSN codes, go and check out g2a.com. There, link is down below. So, with that, guys, the uh, stipulations of this tournament is a five star team maximum. So, you can't bronze bench, you can't, um, well. This isn't a bronze bench. This is a ridiculous bench, in it? And we've obviously took advantage. Now, with this team, we're obviously using Legends. A lot, a lot of people on PS can't do that. But this is the core team, which I usually do. It's in a 4-3-2-1 formation. The three Legends, which are absolutely perfect in the middle with Mateus, Vieira and Hullet. And then at the back, I've gone with Blanca and Maldini. So... The team's a little bit different to my core team, which I usually use, which is the likes of Alba, uh, left back, Aureate right back, and I think Normal Neuer in net, and also Van Basten up front. But I've used some Team of Seasons, which I've really enjoyed using um, in the past couple of weeks, because Team of Seasons is obviously well in full for and coming to an end on Friday. So, we're going to get on and build this team, guys. Show you the tournament when we did to unlock the kit, or did we unlock the kit? No, we never unlocked the kit, because the motherfucker in the final rage quit, and we never got the kit. It got glitched, but I'll explain that in the video at the end. So, so, in the goalkeeper position, guys, we are going to go with a 94-rated goalkeeper, uh, which is David De Gea for Manchester United. Really enjoyed using him and goes for pretty cheap now, actually, I think. We paid 4 4 5 for him during BPL and he's actually... He's actually gone back up, which is interesting now. Um, I, I thought he'd gone back down. A lot of players I bought have gone back down. Right-hand side, we've gone with Cerner, part of the Hully gang uh, as well. 88-rated right back. Win, win, he was pretty cheap when we bought him. 35k, and let's see how much he goes for now. He's probably gone up now, I reckon. 40k? Yeah, that's not bad for him. He's a very, very good player. Low pace, but does uh, the, the business in defence, which is what I wanted him in there for. Anyway, left back position, we've gone with another uh, player, which has hit the Hullet Cup. Probably the best one, actually, which is Leighton. Um, left back, 87 rated. Probably wasted there in the left back position, but did the business as well. We paid 140k for him, and I presume that his price has dropped as well. Um... About the same? No, 130, yeah. So it's dropped a little bit, uh, but not a bad defence. And they're the three team of seasons we have added in. In the right four position, guys, we have gone with one of the strongest team of seasons so far, which is 95 rated Hulk, 92 pace, 96 shooting, 93 dribbling, and uh, also 94 uh, passing, 94 physical, even though he's got, I think it's 98 strength he's got. We paid 424 for him pretty early on because I wanted to do a video of him. And uh, I don't know if he's been really, he's actually nearly extinct. That's nuts. That, that, that is really, really crazy, isn't it? Has he even been re-released? I've not even looked at the EA, um, SC team of season or whatever it is. Uh, left wing, we've gone with team of the year, guys, with team of the year, Neymar. Um, I should have had him at the start. He's a, my go-to player. Um, 100 games, 47 goals, 30 assists. Would you guys be happy with that record in Division 1 and obviously these tournaments as well? Uh, very solid player. Don't want to look at the prices of him now because he's absolutely uh, like dropped in price by a hell of a lot. And the final player, guys, to throw into the team and finish the uh, run of the Bates 87 uh, strong team is trying out another... Well, I love this striker. You guys will have seen a video on it anyway. And it is Jonas, the 91-rated striker. Um, 86 pace, 97 shooting, 89 uh, passing, 94 dribbling and 81 physical. Absolutely solid. 26 games, 15 goals, 9 assists, which is pretty good for me. And um, that's the team complete, guys. Brazilians trio up front. Um, um, uh, legend trio in the middle, and then a nice, uh, nice, very overpowered defense, in my opinion. It did take us actually three times because I've not played FIFA in a few days. Come back, lost the first two games on penalties, and um, went on a run of uh, rage quits all the way from the first round all the way to the final. And that rage quit did, in fact, fuck me. So, uh, we're going to get into clips now, which you guys have, haven't seen. Show you the tournament run. Let me know and tweet me teams as well, guys, which you did win the tournament with, and what you think of the new kit as well. I'm not going to be able to rock it for at least, I'm going to say, I don't know, it depends how, he, how, he, how I'm going to sort it out. I've got the contact here and it could take weeks until I get this kit, which is very frustrating. But you guys would have been experiencing it as well. It's a little bit of a flaw with the system. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I've missed out on the kit, even though I did technically unlock it. And I'll show you that tournament run in a sec. So guys, going into the tournament, first opponent coming up against a nice Serie A team with Pogba, Inform Salah, Inform Dybala, Inform Insigne. And a bit of a weird right wing if you look at it. I didn't even notice this one. So what I did explain in the start of the video, guys, is that everybody rage quit every single game, which is pretty frustrating. But um, it did take me three attempts. I don't know why I was just struggling. A few days off FIFA, you guys know how it is where you're not sharp. And uh, thankfully, in the third one, 
would do brilliant and actually get four rage quits in a row. And that did cost me. It cost me the fact of not getting the kit. And it's annoying because not only have I been struggling, like look at this for a goal as well, guys. Look at this for pointless skill moves, but actually working and a brilliant finish there from Neymar. So with the rage quit situation, it's not just this support, uh, this tournament it's actually happened on. With me personally, this is the only time it's happened. But when it, I think Gorilla last week, he, he did it with Gonlons and didn't end up getting the card either. And um, it reminds me of the days when... I don't know, you remember guys, which was it? Was it the tournaments last year where if you won on penalties, it would decide on who had the more attempts on goal type thing? It was a very strange one and the rage quit system obviously needs to get sorted because people are missing out on unique items, i.e. the kits, the players and everything else which EA are giving us as free gifts but we're not actually ending up getting them and having to contact support and go through that, that route which is a little bit annoying but um, it hopefully it does get sorted in future uh, because I don't really, I, I like missing out on stuff. So the team itself was very solid, the players we've used before like the Neymar the free midfield um, Jonas the striker was alright as well and even with Hulk I really enjoyed using Hulk again very very strong and as long as you guys are good at using that shielding button you'll have a lot of fun with him the defence itself a little bit of a letdown on Cerna I think it was a lack of pace and uh, even Leon as well felt very wasted in the left back position and the goalkeeper of obviously uh, De Gea didn't really get tested that much and uh, well we just went right he did get tested previous but uh, we obviously lost them but in these ones, I don't think we actually did concede a goal. Um, penalties left, right and centre. Missed a few penalties, which was quite annoying, but the ones we did put away look quite nice. Blanc has got very good free kick stats as well for a defender. Jonas as well, very, very fast, very strong, and got a brilliant finish on him. If you guys obviously haven't been able to pick up Jonas, really recommend doing so, because he is a very, very fun player. So this was a third and final goal, guys, to take us into the final, and it was a bit of luck as well. Vieira getting on the score sheet, which he rarely ever does for me, and uh, yet again, another first half rage quit and sends us on into the final. Our final opponent though, uh, rocks up a very nice team. Blanc, Team of the Year Silver, um, Team of Season Diara, Team of Season uh, Ben Arthur, and Team of Season Ben Yedda, partnered up with Griezmann up top. A very strong looking team. Thought I would get tested and that wasn't the case. And maybe I was a bit lucky, got away from all the triads doing it a few days later. Uh, but as you can see, Jonas here with a nice uh, pass through to Hullet. Hullet with a near post finish. It makes it 1-0 in the 10th minute. It felt like I was going to score a lot more goals pretty fast as well. We got a free kick with Hullet. He sunk kit as well, brilliant free kick in fact no power, just a placement free kick and I don't usually score them, ones that it went in I was really happy, pushing on to the third and final goal guys and it's Hullet again linking up with Hulk, Hulk by himself and a nice finesse into the far corner, sees our man press the start button directly after this and rage quit and cost me the kit, still quite annoyed out uh, about it, even though it's a little bit of a day later but hopefully you guys uh, have been able to get your issues sorted as well if you are missing out on the kit if you do want to see what the kit looks like uh, on the game as well guys you can go and play the team of the week it is an offline it'll cost you about 50 coins to see it but if you go in the matchup screen you can see the kit which is unlockable this time round unfortunately as you can see guys the kit wasn't highlighted for me and then we load into ultimate team and you'll see that I don't get the kit either so guys if you enjoyed today's video please leave a like rate and subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already for more awesome FIFA 16 content if you missed out the transfer video from earlier on today go and check that out and as you can see guys missing the kit very annoyed catch you all later